So here I'm back with another lesson, another concept. I'm going to talk about, in this, basically I'm going to talk about what are economic activities. Now, let's take the word economics. It's derived from two Greek words, ekos and nomos. Ekos means home and nomos means accounts if translated into English. So, economic deals with looking after the accounts of the home, that means as a whole. So, metamorph, uh, as a metaphor, home means the entire economy, the society as a whole. So, if you take economics, economics is nothing but, it, it's looking after the accounts of the society or the economy as a whole. Now, uh, talking about activities now. So, there are so many activities that we are doing all the time. In our day-to-day -day life, we, we find people are engaged in so many activities. You can be a social worker, you can be a worker. Like, for example, we find different people engaged in different types of activities to earn their living. So, when you are doing an activity to earn your living, that is an economic activity. Come on, uh, let's take examples now. For example, a farmer, a worker, a cobbler, a shopkeeper, a industrialist, a lawyer, a, a CA. What are they doing? They are performing activities to earn their living. So that is known as economic activity. So. So this is what is all, this is what we call an economic activity. So all activities which we perform in exchange for money or things or value are economic activities. So if I'm doing a job, I'm doing it in lieu of some monetary exchange. What is the aim of any economic activity, if you, can, if you ask me, is to produce goods and services to make them available, available to consumers at some value. So that's an aim of any economic activity. And so, going by that, let's just take what are economic activities. So, economic activities is, again, activities that we perform in exchange for money or things or value. That is an economic activity. So we group them, economic activities, into four parts. One is production, consumption, distribution, and exchange. So let's take up production. So what is production? Production is that economic activity which is concerned with the addition of value in goods. Like for example, that could be a raw material. So when you take a raw material and convert it into a finished product, that is production. So for example, if you take cotton and you change it into a cloth, you make it into a cloth, well, that is production. And how do you produce? With, uh, there are factors of production which are involved land, labor, capital, and enterprise. So, when you're talking about production, on, it, on its heels comes distribution. For example, it is a kind of economic activity which deals with the distribution of the produ produced output of goods and services amongst the factors of production. So, what are they? Like, for example, land, labor, capital, enterprise, as I just mentioned. So, land gets rent. Labor gets wages, then capital gets um, interest, and the entrepreneur gets profits, so the remuneration. Then you have, if there is no consumption, there can be, the production goes, there'll be glut in the, glut, the glut in the economy. Whatever is produced should go away as consumption. There should be a demand for it. So it comes under the purview of consumption. So consumption is what? It is an economic activity which is concerned with the use of goods and services for the satisfaction of human wants. For example, if I take the services of a doctor, well, that is consumption, that would be a consumption activity if I'm 
eating my meals, whatever I prepared, that again is a consumption activity. So consumption. And of course, exchange. Exchange is a very important kind of economic activity. It's concerned with the buying and selling of goods and services. So, and they are bought and sold in terms of money. So it's a link between production activities and consumption activities. So I hope you understood what is what are economic activities. But before we, I go on with the assignment. Let me also just focus on what are non-economic activities. So all activities which we, which are performed in exchange for nothing, no money, or things of value. You're doing it for your personal satisfaction. All that is known as non-economic activities. You're doing these e economic. You're sorry. You're doing these activities gladly. So that is why they are known as non-economic activities. So uh, let me just uh, give you an assignment. This is assignment two. Please uh, look at this. What number question number one is what are economic activities? Second is what are the types of economic activities? Third, do all of these economic activities generate income? And question four is which economic activity is concerned with the use of income? Well, that is just a little tricky question. Let's see if you can get it. Otherwise, just listen or we'll just discuss it next time. And what do you mean by non-economic activities? And question number six, can the activity teaching be both economic activity and non-economic activity? So having uh, done this, uh, let's just revise. Uh, let's come back to the assignment number one that I had given you. So answers to that uh, lesson, that is, what is economics? The question one was, who is known as a father of economics? That is Adam Smith. What is the name of the book of Adam Smith? It was an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nations. In which book did Alfred Marshall give the definition of economics? It was principle of economics. Then what is the name of the book in which Lord Robbins gave his famous definition of economics? It's an essay on nature and significance of economic science. Who is Paul Samuelson, a modern economist who presented the growth-oriented definition of economics? Who gave the wealth definition of economics? That was Adam Smith. Who gave the material wealth definition of economics? That's Alfred Marshall. And who gave the scarcity definition for economics? That's Lord Robbins. And who gave the growth definition for economics? That is Paul Samuelson. So bye for now. We'll meet you in the next.